All right, so here's my ultra budget blizzard sorceress. The rules for this are no spirits, because they're too expensive. No insects are too expensive, apparently. And then everything has to be a total of 50 FG or less on a ladder launch. So this is extremely budget, as budget as you can get, pretty much. And I have to keep the mercenary alive, which is the hardest part of this challenge. So most of the value in this build is on the mercenary. Now, most important, most expensive thing is the Tal Helmet. Um, this might actually break the 50 FG budget, but it's pretty easy to get. I think it's pretty reasonable. You know, your socket quests on ladder launch are going to sell for like probably at least 50 FG each, and you get three of those. So, you know, I hope you should be able to get this. If you can't, it's not the end of the world, but this is the most expensive and ideally the helmet you want to get. Um, for the weapon, you're using Meat Scraper. This is pretty much the only option, like has decent damage, has life steal, and nobody uses it, so it's gonna be super cheap. And it's pretty common. Uh, rock fleece for the armor, this is gonna be a little bit more sought after, so you might not be able to get this, but it is one of the best options for, you know, just keeping your mercenary alive on an extreme budget. Has good percentage and flat damage reduction. And I upped this once, which will cost you a tal shale and a perfect diamond. Um, that's not necessary, but just gives it a little more defense. Uh, so this would be like probably 5 FG on a ladder launch. And this would be like 10, and then up again it would be like another 5. Um, for our armor, we're using 3-piece Arctic. It's probably the most interesting thing here. Uh, it just gives a lot of resists and life, and the belt also gives magic find. Uh, the armor has pretty decent defense. This is upped one time, and if you up it again, it actually has 2,000 defense. Uh, and it gives all resist, cold resist, the belt gives cold resist, and then the gloves actually give 90 life, which is why we're using the three-piece gloves. It gives 20 life as its base stats, it gives 50 life as the three-piece set bonus, and it gives 10 dexterity as its set bonus as well. So because we're using max block in this build, it comes out to 90 life that these gloves are giving us. Uh, the weapon is just, you know random FCR wand from Akara, or any merchant really. Uh, ideally, you'd use Spirit Sword pretty soon after you're using this build. That's like the first upgrade you'd want to get. Spirit is pretty cheap, but the rules for this say no Spirit, so we're just using this. Other options maybe Spectral, Shard, or Suicide Branch, but I assume Suicide Branch is going to be way too expensive for this. Even Spectral Shard I think will be too expensive. Uh, shield, we're using a Rhyme. Uh, the Bone Shield base can be bought from Drognon and Axe 2 normal really easily, 2 socket, whatever. Then you just need a Shale F, which are super easy runes to get. The shield is basically free and has really good stats, high block chance, all resist, and MF. Um, and a little bit of mana regeneration. Amulet and rings are just, you know, whatever rings you find. Jeez, there's just some random mana and life. Uh, helmet is lore, of course. This helmet's really good. Skills, mana. Resist, damage reduction, mana for each kill. It's insanely good for basically no value whatsoever. And the boots I just bought from a vendor. Just resist boost to flesh out your resists because you do need to be able to survive fire enchanted and cold enchanted if you want to, you know, kill cows with any sort of sanity of staying alive. Um, and then on the swap, we have a chilling armor and enchant staff. These are our two buffs, and I wanted to find these on separate items, but I got lucky and found them together. Um, basically, the idea is you, you buff with one, put this in your cube, buff with the other, and then put it back if you want, or you could just keep it on, because it doesn't matter what order you do it in. Right, and that'll give you more defense and then attack rating on your mercenary, because your mercenary will be missing, and the enchant will help his attack rating a lot, which will help his life leech and help him stay alive. So for stats, just enough strength to equip your gear. Enough decks to get max block because cows hurt really bad. And if you don't have max block, you will die when you teleport into cows. Even with this and all the defense we have in this build, like you could still die to cows teleporting into them, but most of the time you're going to survive. Um, and then after you have max block, enough strength to equip your gear, everything else into vitality. Um, for skills, uh, we're actually more into Glacial Spike than Ice Blast because keeping the mercenary alive is really hard. And Glacial Spike freezes the enemies, even though it does less damage. It'll help keep our mercenary alive. Um, and then we don't have anything in the armors because we're using a buff staff on our switch. 
then the one point wonders and lightning and then warmth is optional i just decided to grab it because when you upgrade gear you're going to want to have it anyways um oh yeah i wanted to show the alternative gear options so for our weapon we could also use crush flange this gives us a bunch of fire resist so if our resists are just super low um, this is an option and then it also gives strength so if you um, you know you find an elite armor you want to use then you're going to need more strength and this will help you get there so it's like 30 life 50 fire resist on a weapon no faster cast rate but faster cast rate honestly isn't that important early on with blizzard blizzard has a cooldown anyways right and then most of your damage is from blizzard not from glacial spike or ice blast um, another helmet for your mercenary arathas or really just two socket three socket helmet with some you know or ral whatever runes you need to flush out your resists um, another option is just a bunch of solids in a helmet just get some damage reduction in there um, if you don't want to use the three-piece arctic uh, you can use a plated belt with just life on it um, by the way, this uh, Arctic Belt, you need to up this for a Tal Shale and a P Diamonds because otherwise you only have two rows. Uh, I also upped this armor, but this is really not necessary. It's just 300 defense, really not a big deal. Um, but Tal Shale P Diamond is pretty cheap, so I just decided to up it for this demonstration. Um, alternative armors for yourself are Smoke. Um, it just gives you a lot of resists. You know, if, you, if you're not using the three-piece Arctic, your resists are going to be kind of bad. It has decent defense, so this will fix your resists. Um, and then you can also use a fully upped uh, Arctic fur. This gives a lot of defense. Like if I... I can't, I can't put yet. it on. But if I put it on with this, th with this uh, set bonus, you get over 2,000 defense. Um, and then this is also really, really good for your mercenary. Um, 2,000 defense on your mercenary is just insanely good at keeping him alive. Way better than the rock fleece that I have on him right now. The only reason I'm not using this is because it takes a lem and a co to upgrade this. And that's going to be probably like 50 FG in itself. So I think it's too expensive for this build. But I did want to show it because this is cool. And, you know, if you find, you know, a different armor you want to use, then you can take the armor you were using, upgrade it, and then give it to a mercenary later. Um, and then if you can't find rock fleece for your mercenary, you could also use iron pelt. This is a perfect roll. It's going to look a little bit worse than this, but this is a pretty good armor. Decent defense, gives a little bit of life, but mainly it's the damage reduction and the magic damage reduction that end up being really helpful. This will help with like lightning enchanted, like the cow king and stuff, keeping your mercenary alive just in general. All right, and then to the uh, cow run. Now this build... Uh it's not really great for players eight. I don't really think you could do players eight on an ultra budget, at least effectively. Um, and then the faster cast rate is kind of slow, but when you're teleporting to uh, find the leg, just uh, CT cast all your teleports and it really won't take long. It's better to just have good stats overall than to cast really fast as Blizzard and just use this. So well, mana is an issue, because we don't have insights. Um, but you don't have to like speed cast your uh, your glacial spikes in every situation. You can kind of like just cast a couple and then wait for your blizzard cooldown. And we can't really kill immune to colds very well yet. You know, I can static him, but the mercenary doesn't do very much damage yet. You just skip these at this point. Um, the idea of this build is to have enough, you know, survivability that when you, like, teleport into a big group of cows like that, you don't just immediately die. What that allows you to do is it allows you to, like, stand, like, inside the cows, pretty much, and kill the cows way faster like that. Hey, look, on a mine. That is not white. Now, you do have to be careful with, like, amplify damage or, like, uh, Might Aura on the uh, Elites, because that still will kill you. Our gear is very low, even though we can tele-stomp these. Our gear is not good enough to survive, like, Amplify Damage or Might Aura, stuff like that. But, you know, we can teleport on these, and we're not going to die in most cases. Um, because most Blizzard builds, I think, if you teleport 
on the cows, you're just gonna die, and I hate that. That's so annoying because then you can't teleport around and kill the cows as quickly. So that's why I went with like max block and a little more defense focused. So it's Blizzard, goes at a moderate pace. Not super fast, far from slow though. And then pretty good at keeping yourself alive. Cow King is probably the most dangerous part of this. When he's not cold immune, you can kill him just fine. He dies pretty quick from just some blizzards on him. Fortunately, he's cold immune this time, so no Cow, no cow King this time. And that is the Blizzard, ultra budget Blizzard sorceress for early ladder. 50 FG and under. Mercenary stays alive. No spirits allowed, no insights allowed. Now, obviously, first thing you want to do is upgrade your weapon. Get a spirit sword. And then get an insight. Any insight, even exceptional polearm insight, is going to be great. Then, if you don't have the Tau Helmet, get the Tau Helmet. And then probably get a spirit shield, but you really don't have to. And then after that, you, you know, just find whatever you have all you need, basically.